Yeah, um, I'm obviously really proud of this year and how it's all how it's all panned out for me. Um, the first, you know, six six to twelve months of being on tour was really successful. Obviously, I started in the lower tournaments, so I was able to rack up a few titles quite quickly. And then once I started playing in the PSA events. Um, that was when you know my confidence really started to build, and I really started to feel like actually I can, I can kind of challenge these players and do well. Um, and yeah, it was all yeah, it was all going going really well. I was really proud of myself, proud of my performances, and um, honestly, the last few months haven't been quite as successful. I think once you get to a certain level, obviously you're you play fewer events and you don't reach the end, the latter stages of the tournaments like you were before when you were winning all the events. So whereas the beginning of the season was everything like win, 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 it hasn't been like that recently and it's different, it's an adjustment. Obviously you're playing against, you know, better, more experienced players, but it's still not, you know, not that it's the high isn't, even though I'm number eight in the world now, the high of actually being number 70 and making, was actually better in terms of, you know, confidence and everything. Um, so it's definitely, I've had to kind of adjust to everything so quickly. I'm still learning a lot about, you know, how I, how to prepare myself for matches and how, when I'm on the court, how to, you know, figure things out, figure out what I need to do to make myself, you know, get that next point, get over the finish line. So I've had definitely had to adjust quickly and it's been, it's been interesting. A lot of, a lot of highs, a lot of it's like a lot of lows, emotion, emotional roller coaster. <laughs> um, but all in all, obviously, cannot can't complain. Really proud of myself, and um, yeah, <laughs> you're just put in a in a different position, and you have to. You're faced with kind of an, a problem that you don't really know how to solve, and that's not that wasn't the case for my first few months on tour. So. It's, de it's different and like I said and I've been speaking to a few players about it and obviously my journey's been quite different for a few people it's you know they have the time to and the experience to you know get take these matches learn from them and stuff whereas I've can't complain I've been really really proud of myself and I'm really proud of my ranking but it's been hard to kind of adjust really quickly to you know being th you know you're losing in early rounds to a high ranked player and um going to a, a tournament flying all the way to a tournament just you know to come back a couple of days later so it is hard it is definitely hard um and being at the top i have so much respect for all these girls who've been at the top for so long cuz everyone's chasing you you know and everyone anyone can be anyone on their day and just to be so consistent consistently perform well is what you need to do to stay at the top and it's it's tough. It's mentally very tough, I think. So I've got so much respect for the, for people who do it. You know, it's so exciting to be amongst the top eight players in the world. Um, but like I said, a lot of I think a lot of my main achievements this season were in the beginning stages. So or even in like January where I won Cleveland, and in December getting to the semis of Black Ball. So th those feel like so long ago and recently um, I haven't really been getting like the big wins that I was getting at the beginning of the season. So I'm so proud obviously to be in the top eight at the World Series finals. You have to be consistent throughout the whole season, which I have been, but haven't actually had that, you know, like really good win in a while. So it's like really good for me to be here to feel, you know, like, it definitely gave me a boost because towards the end of the season, you if you're not getting those big wins, it, it's hard. Um, so being able to make the World Tour Finals was definitely a boost, and you know just such a good opportunity to play to play the top girls. It's such a good experience, and yeah, that's what this whole you know trip and tournament is about for me. Interest in watching you know someone like Shabini play um, and comparing her to myself. So like you said, we can all hit the ball we can all hit the good shots in training you know I I'll hit 50 drops and they'll all be perfect but when it comes to a match Shabini just backs herself and Shabaggy they'll just back themselves in a way that I don't do and maybe people who aren't ranked as highly maybe they don't do either you know I remember watching Shabini play a match and she'd just hit two backhand drops into the tin at like a crucial point next one comes in 
it's like nine all in the fifth, same backhand drop, slot, slots it perfectly. You know, and that confidence that she has in her ability is something that I admire so much because it's hard. It's hard to back when you've just made two tins. You know, I can visualize myself now on that shot being like, ah, and just completely not trusting it. Um, so I think it's literally just having the trust in in your game and in your ability. Um, and I think for me personally, I have that trust in my physical, in the physical side of it, but I'm still trying to find that trust in my actual, actual squash. And, you know, I know that I can beat some of these players with my squash and it doesn't always have to be, you know, beating them just because I'm physically maybe faster or stronger or whatever. Like it's actually trusting your squash because that's what it comes down to. That's why Shabini is so, so dominant because her squash is amazing and she trusts it. <laughs> I haven't actually set specific targets yet. Um, I think after the Commonwealth Games is when I'll really start to think about next season because I haven't thought about it yet. But I mean, I want to, and I believe that I can, you know, start pushing into, you know, the semis, maybe finals of these, of these events. I mean, you've seen this season, it's been great that, you know, there's been, you know, Hania, Shabini, and Goha are all kind of beating each other. Um, and you've been getting, you know, Joel losing narrowly 3-2 to Hania at the British. So it is, it is, you know, up for grabs. And I think seeing other people, you know, take down. I think Hania has been a really great example that, you know, you can bridge the gap between the top two. Um, because I think for a while it looked, they were looked pretty, you know, indestructible and like undefeated, uh, like that they couldn't be beaten. So, you know, I think, yeah, when I start thinking about next season, I want to kind of do what Hania has done and, you know, start getting to the finals and maybe winning, winning these events. Because um, I believe that I can, you know, I think hopefully it'll all come together at a tournament for me. And yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I, mean, I suppose you have to, you have to, it's, it's my goal. I'll do everything I can to try and get there. I don't think it's going to be, I think it's going to take a couple of years of graft, you know, and it's, I'm definitely not there yet, you know, um, definitely not. There's a lot more that I need to work on, but I hope, I hope that I can do that one day for sure. That will be the goal. <laughs>